Hey Tubies! So today I wanted to talk to you about setting up your altar. Now depending on where you live um, or any sort of restrictions you may or may not have uh, will depend on if you can set up a permanent altar or if it's just something that you take out at a certain time to where, ooh, I'm gonna knock mine down, um, to where you take time to do your meditations, um, your prayers, your chants, uh, and your, your focus in your center, you know, different times of day. It's it's a place where you really um, have a sense of worship and a sense of peace. It really gives you that chance to get connected and feel connected and, and gives you a focal spot in your place which is sacred um, and you feel very comfortable and working with your tools, reading, writing in your book of shadows, whatever you're doing divination, whatever your forte may be for the day. Now, there are several different ways to set up your altar um, and a lot of different items that you can incorporate into it. Now, you don't necessarily have to have any type of tools. Uh, you can just have different things that you collect um, and different items that mean something to you and you could put them on your altar, especially so you don't stress about going out and buying expensive tools um, in order to feel like you belong in your spirituality of Wicca. Uh, so, I'm going to show you mine and um, start off. Now, an altar is pretty much divided into three different sections. Three. You Left side is usually the goddess side, and the right side would be the god side. In the middle in, where, is where you can incorporate both. Now, as you see, mine's decorated still from um, Astara, and so I've got, you know, jasmine and rose petals kind of sprinkled all over the place. And... My altar kind of looks chaotic, but it really has um, a lot of <laughs> system to it. I have a lot of different things on here that mean uh, a lot of different things to me, mean a lot to me. But to go off, on the left side, you want to put your goddess items. Um, I do have my goddess statue in the middle, but she is my moon goddess. Uh, that is the deity I focus on the most and get my most uh, and get my energy from and all my strength. So I have her focused in the center and I also had collected a walnut from Georgia a long time ago so I kind of keep that in there. For her, um, you will want your candles of course, white or black or you can do different ones for the seasons uh, depending on what the season is and what the color is for that time of year. But I always have a white candle, dark candle, black candle for the god and goddess. Um, I have a baby jar of salt that you can use to cast your circles. Uh, and I also have my cauldron of sand, but I pretty much use that for putting my charcoal tablets in to burn uh, my loose non-combustible incense. This, you guys had previously asked me in a picture that's on my Facebook page. This is my little bitch doll. Um, I used to carry her on my keychain, but she had broken, and she's like my little voodoo doll. I kind of did her up a little bit and pierced her, and, you know, all that good crap. Her hair is all messed up. She's raggedy, raggedy, little bitch, little bitch. But I love her. She's my anger doll. Um, this is a skull that I had collected from the woods, and I was pretty fond of. Still had a couple teeth in there. Um, a couple fell out, and I've got them put in a jar somewhere. But you also want to put your um, magic knives, your bolines, or anything on the god side. Now, I love Buddha, so I have a mini Buddha here. I don't have my big Buddha. He is on a separate location. And then this is Ganesh, or Buddha, end of the world Buddha, as my husband likes to call him, because uh, he says it looks like Buddha with a gas mask. But it's Ganesh. I love him as well. And Flora actually was kind enough to send that to me, so it was a great addition to my altar. Um, and see here. And you also want to do your stones, of course. Let me raise up here. Different stones. You can have your stones set out for your partic for the particular Sabbath or season at hand, um, the specific turn of the wheel. Uh, I just actually consecrated and cleansed all mine, so they're kind of just out and about, charging on my altar. And um, I've got my focal point, my pentagram. Um... My incense burner. This is from Dragon Moon um, .ca, which is in Canada. Tara has a wonderful store. If you're looking for any magical items uh, to add to your collection, she has great, great things. My pendulum. A couple other items that I had collected. These are seashells from the beach. Um, coral that I had collected from the beach as well. And 
This is a little pentagram washer copper wire that somebody dear had made me to carry around as a charm. Um, my little copper me doll. Uh, your bell, of course. Raise energy, stir it up. Oh, just feel that. You feel that? Let's take a second. Oh, I love that. Such energy raising it is. Smudge sticks, sage sticks. Use them for sponging the house, cleansing my altar, cleansing my stones, um, any other items that I may collect. My quartz crystal. Another pentagram. Um... My box that I got from um, it's Notions and Potions. I'll have to post the link up. She's got some great boxes. I've had that for a little bit. This is my Scarecrow. Uh, those of you remember from previously, um, my previous videos, earlier YouTube videos, my big giant gray fat kitty. He uh, got put down a little while ago, but these are his ashes. And they made me a little foot impression, so I keep that on my altar always. And so, yeah, my tarot cards, Book of Shadows. Yes, it's several different books. One of these days I will pile them up into all one book. But that is that. And like I said, the great thing about having your altar is, is adding your little personal touch to it. You want to... You want to add the things that you collect. Now, in Lesson 1... Um, previously that I had posted up, it was putting these items that you go out and you collect and uh, and taking time to connect with the different elements and the different experiences that you go out. If you go on a nature walk and something catches your eye, don't feel stupid for picking it up. Pick it up. There's a reason why you were drawn to it and it's something that you might be able to use at a later date uh, when doing a uh, spell of some sorts or uh, just trying to raise some energy, use it in a ritual at one point. So it's really, really great and really makes your altar a special place when you add um, different pieces of things that you have collected throughout your spiritual journey. And you will see your altar will grow over time. Um, and it even doesn't have to be very big. It can be very small. And those of you who are um, young and live at home with your parents and you still want to be able to have an altar, get yourself a special little box that you can... It could be a shoe box. Um, it could be a wooden box. It could be something that you build yourself um, in wood shop at school uh, or have a friend do it for you or even go to Michael's or a different place and buy yourself a neat little box to keep all your little magical items in it. Keep it under your bed. Um, and so when you're ready to break it out because you want to have some meditation time or just some time to write in your book of shadows and really uh, focus and just have some serenity and bring some joy to yourself, um, take time to break out your altar and set it all up and light some incense and light some candles and really enjoy and embrace the time that you have with yourself and amongst yourself and amongst the energies of all the different items that you have collected and the actual energy that will build up on its own just from you treating your altar as a sacred space um, in general. It's kind of like your little church inside the house um, if you're not able to go out in nature because nature is, as pagans, our church. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check me out on Facebook, as well as, um, I'm always on there, and check out my site, Green Eyed Owl. There's some great tips and ideas for correspondences uh, for stones and herbs and different things that you can collaborate and add to your altar. So thank you very much, you guys. Love you. Bye!